This week on Rush Outdoors, we're heading to the Bluegrass State chasing big bucks. Then it's Longbeards right here in New York. We'll explore some interesting tidbits with Tori's topics. And of course, member footage with Rush Uncut. Awesome New York block. Oh, oh. We're taking a great buck back to New York. Got a really nice buck. Craziness. He's down. What a buck. What a rush. He's a really good buck. Oh my God. Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Runnings, your home farm and outdoor store. Closed captioning for Rush Outdoors is brought to you by the Wayne County Department of Tourism. Look them up online at waynecountytourism.com. Hey everyone, welcome to Rush Outdoors. I'm Real Tree Pro Staff for Tim Andrus. It's gun season here in Western New York, muzzleloader season right around the corner. Time to get the CVA out, make sure everything's still good. Never fails me having a vortex on top of it. Let's get it done. Well, it's time for eye and ear protection here. We're gonna fire this baby up. While I'm doing that, let's join pro staffer Brad Wilcox in Kentucky with his CVA. Just uh, run the deer hunt for the night, but that's all right because uh, the CPA just put down a coyote. So we ended up getting out of the stand a little bit early and uh, gotta get him taken care of. The wind's blowing like crazy. incredible selection at competitive prices check us out the shores of lake ontario and orleans county have long been an angler's dream recently named the world fishing network's ultimate fishing town point breeze offers world-class fishing for lake trout brown trout and steelhead as well as coho atlantic and chinook salmon a full service marina will help with all of your boating needs while abundant tackle shops and one of the premier charter fleets on lake ontario can help you catch your next trophy numerous restaurants are available and at the end of the day our lodging facilities will provide you with a comfortable place to relax hook up with one of our finny friends right here in orleans county i love new york I'm Ashley Martin. Welcome to Martin's Marina. Come on in, I'll show you around. We're one of Lund's top dealers in the Northeast. We also have a wide variety of Avalon pontoon boats, all equipped with Mercury motors. We pride ourselves on our service. All of our technicians are Mercury certified. Pick from our selection of Shoremaster docks and a full line of accessories to complement your dock, as well as boat hoists. But that's not all. Here in Martin's, we have all your boating needs, from dockage, 
self-service gas, inside storage, and winterization. So come on down to Martin's Marina in beautiful Cape Vincent, New York. Nestled in the heart of St. Lawrence County, Black Lake is one of New York's most pristine family vacation destinations. This one-of-a-kind body of water offers fishing for the entire family. And when you get off the water, there are numerous shops and museums, along with a local winery featuring live music throughout the summer. The world-renowned St. Lawrence River is only 20 miles away, offering boat tours of the Thousand Islands and its many historic castles and lighthouses. For more information on campgrounds, cottages, and entertainment, you can look online at blacklakeny.com. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Orleans County, the New York Sportsman's Expo, PSE Archery, CBA, Scentlock, Nocturnal Lighted Knox, Block Targets, IQ Bow Sights, True Fire Releases, the Black Lake Chamber of Commerce, North Country Troopers Assisting Troops, Steel, Voss Signs, and these fine sponsors. I decided to go all in tonight. I pushed right down into the bottom here. To the stand we call the hub. Some of you might recognize this spot from two seasons ago. I harvested a nice eight point buck with my BSE out of the same stand. Great sit this morning just up on top of the ridge here above me up on the hay field. We saw a ton of deer. But the coyotes uh, came through and screwed everything up on us. But the decent buck that we saw with the group, there was a whole group of bucks, but there was one, one decent buck that I, I think I'd like to get a crack at him. I'd like to get him a little closer to make sure, but it's like a nice buck to me. Up out of here. We have a ton of trail camera pictures of some pretty good bucks here in this bottom. Um, so the wind is not ideal. Normally I wouldn't push down in here, but it's my last night. back at the truck here and it's well past dark now but um man what a night <laughs> i can't even uh begin to explain how how that night unfolded it uh it was crazy um there were bucks everywhere i didn't see a single doe uh you know it got to be that last hour of, of daylight and little bucks started coming out that that bottom i was in and I could hear more coming. I could hear bucks fighting. There were bucks. I mean, there were antlers clashing everywhere. I hope the audio picked it up. Um, and I mean, wouldn't you know it? You get down to the last 10 minutes of legal shooting time, and normally, you know, you're, you're, we're kind of packing up with these cameras, you know, because at that point, the footage isn't going to be real great. But this is my last night here in Kentucky, and I decided I was going to take it right down. To the last minute if my camera would allow it so i switched over to manual settings all right well we're starting to find some blood we've only been a few yards so we're gonna keep going here and see what we find but it's looking good it's nice bright red blood so i see you guys there he is there he is well bam we found him he's uh yeah he's right where i thought he was i'm going in This isn't going to be the best angle, but what a beauty of a nine point. 
Oh, is he gorgeous? Words can't even describe how things went tonight. It was just, it was amazing. There were box everywhere, they were fighting. And uh, we didn't see a single doe, but <laughs> I'm telling you what, that's, that's one heck of a night in the deer woods, boy. We took it right down to the wire. This guy stepped out with just minutes, minutes of shooting light left, you know, legal shooting time. And uh, I kept an eye on it and he stepped out at like 15 yards right with a couple minutes to go. And got the camera situated. It was too, bar, too dark back in the timber where he came from to get any footage. You could just see leaves. You couldn't really see much of anything else. And then, you know, in the opening, it was still bright enough. And uh, he stepped on that opening at 15 yards and the CVA just put it on him, you know, and he didn't run 40, 50 yards and he piled up right here in the thick, nasty bushes down here. So another amazing night here in Kentucky. I absolutely love coming here to hunt. Got to thank Keith Bartholomew for putting me on this lease again. He's such a good friend and uh, man, we have some great times down here when we're together. Sometimes we have to come alone. I know he really wanted to be here and I would have loved to have had him here, but just schedules and the way things are just doesn't always work that way. So, you know, make the trip down by myself and oh, unbelievable. And also, you know, huge thanks to my wife. Uh, she allows me to come do this and have this fun that, I mean, this is, this is my adrenaline rush right here. And if it wasn't for her you know, taking care of our family and, and stuff back home, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. And I cannot thank her enough for everything she does for me. And uh, man, I'm headed back to New York tomorrow with a beautiful buck in the back of the truck and go home and see my wife and kids and get this thing in the freezer too. Can't wait, can't wait for some nice back straps and venison jerky. Man, we're gonna be eating good this winter. Hey Brad, great hunt, congratulations. Tori's Topics is brought to you by Vortex Optics. Hi, Victoria Furchaw here. I'm at Runnings in Brockport, New York, and it's time for Tori's Topics, brought to you by Vortex Optics. When you're in the deer stand, it's always a difficult task to range a deer when it's right in front of you, but you can get around that by ranging some landmarks ahead of time. That's it for this week's Tori's Topics, brought to you by Vortex Optics. I'll catch you next week. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Martin's Marina, Dry Shod Boots, Muzzy Broadheads, Glendale 3D Targets, Millennium Tree Stands,
Carbon Express Arrows, QAD Aero Rests, Hunter Safety Systems, the Whitetail Institute of North America, Covert Scouting Cameras, the Resort at Snug Harbor, Briars Riverside Market, and these fine sponsors. Well, John, besides having you come down here to the range, there's a second reason. I mean, first, of course, shoot your CVA, but I want you missing a buck. Speaking of that, as an uncut member, you've been outstanding on your footage, on point. You got A-plus all across the board. I'm here to tell you, you've been promoted to field staff. Welcome to the team, buddy. Hey, thanks right. a lot, buddy. Great. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, since we're here, why don't we check out my 2019 turkey season? Keystone call. <laughs> that Carlson joke tube? Uh, it did its job. Got it done, 7.45 in the morning. It was a uh, crappy day, I knew it was going to be, but I scouted this area really hard, knew there were some birds around. And bird was all by itself, did a big circle around me, got them hot with the Keystone calls. And then, uh, then I did the old shut your mouth trick and he came right out into the field. Uh, I came in behind me, so it was a little bit difficult filming. I had to get the camera out one of my little windows in the back to catch him coming in, then move everything around to get him before he came into the decoys. And then he came in, I had the decoys out of 25, came in at like 20 yards, and the Carlson choke. <laughs> Man, let me tell you what, I patterned that thing this year, and it lays some shot down. Proof's in the pudding right here, boys. Jack the shell. <laughs> <laughs> what an awesome experience. Holy cow. May 2nd, 2019. Just shot a double with my good buddy, a Rush Uncut member, Louis Kingsbury. He just signed up this year. Never killed a turkey before. And we just got it done on a double. <laughs> Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Thanks, buddy. We got set up this morning. Birds were uh, quite a ways down, hammering pretty hard. Didn't think they'd come in, but lo and behold, a hen came in the field, drew them, drew them out into the field, and uh, they got hung up about 75 yards. I kept ranging them with my Vortex uh, range finders. I wanted to shoot, but they were just out of range, and uh, the one bird turned and committed. We had them, I got them pretty fired up with the Keystone calls. They, uh, the one bird turned and committed came back in they both came in and uh, we laid them down well Louis shot his at about 20 yards I tried doing the uh, one two three shoot and I had a bad shell and the gun didn't go off he smoked his bird uh, fortunately I was able to eject my shell swing on the bird and shoot him I think it was ended up being off camera but um, either way I laid him down and we got it done it was a uh, awesome morning and uh, one will never forget right Lou unbelievable experience um, 
I've been hunting birds for a while and never really had opportunity to put one on the ground, but finally at 42, got her done. <laughs> Congrats, bud. Thanks, buddy. Thanks Way for the done. No problem. <laughs> John, great looking long beard, great hunt. Thanks a lot, it was an awesome spring season. I also shot a bird in the fall, too. I had a nice group of birds come in. There was a, a nice long beard and three jakes with this group. Um, there was actually a bearded hen, but I um, I couldn't pick her out which one she was. They, uh, they started cutting into the brush, and um, I had to take my shot, only about 20 yards. It was a nice, nice, uh, nice easy shot. Hey folks, Brandon Thomas from Rush Outdoors. And when I want to know what's going on in the outdoors in New York State, I turn to the New York Outdoor News. Okay, now it's time for this week's Culvert Corner brought to you by Culvert Scouting Cameras. This week we feature a video sent in by pro staffer Keith Bartholomew, a great looking velvet buck. Not only do Culverts take great pictures, they also take great video. And that's why everyone at Rush Outdoors relies on Culvert Scouting Cameras. We soaked a competitor's rubber boot and a dry shot rubber boot to show you why these other boots get heavy when wet and can even rot away at the seam when subjected to farm chemicals. Dry shot boots are treated with hydrocoat that repels water as well as mud, ice, and organic chemicals. As you can see, the neoprene on the competitor's boot is soaked. Meanwhile, the dry shot boot completely sheds the water. Dry shot, the world's most wearable rubber boots. At the Whitetail Institute, there's a lot of things we could talk about, like pioneering the food plot industry, our extensive research, or our customer success and the world and state records we've helped produce. But what we don't talk enough about is our customer service, and like our product line, is by far the best in the business. We have the expertise to help you improve the quality of your deer and your deer hunting. So contact us today. The call and the consultation are free. We look forward to the opportunity to earn your business. The new Block Vault is the most technologically advanced archery target ever built. The four-sided shooting lets you shoot it close, long, precise, and real. Shoot field chips, broadheads, and expandables. Block Vault's high-density open-layered core and polyfusion design stops all high-speed bows and smaller diameter arrows with friction, not force. Block Vault, get locked in. Before the calm, before the hunt, before the climb, it starts with a passion, and that passion starts at Runnings, the best gear and supplies from the most trusted brands in hunting. When you get the shot, will you be ready? Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. Here we go. Finally. Just harvested my first black bear. He's down. This is what hunting is to us. He is great. Good buck. You saw it here in Rush Outdoors. Hey Keith, you looking to trade that truck in for a Mustang? Ah, uh, no, just an oil change today, Jesse, thanks. Hey guys, welcome to Rush Uncut. This is the member-driven portion of our show where you, the viewer, get to see yourself on TV. All right guys, I'm here at Dovey Motors. Uh, I'm Brandon Thomas, here with Jesse Dovey and Keith Bartholomew, and, and uh, we're here, Keith's making a service appointment for his truck, so. So what kind of footage do we have today? All right, up first we have Rush Uncut member, Mark Dusablon, and I'm pretty sure he's hunting whitetail. Let's check it out. Well guys, here we are. My first black bear. Uh, we're hunting in Steuben County, New York today. It's kind of surprised that I wasn't seeing any deer this morning. And uh, all of a sudden I heard something walking through the creek behind me. So I got ready with my bow. And, uh, and when I took my second look back, here comes the black bear. And uh, you know, I was, it was my day. I was fortunate enough to uh, have him come right up to 10 yards. I made a perfect double lung shot on him. Um, I actually heard him do that death moan. Uh, he only went about 60 yards from the stand, 
the muzzy really did a great job on him. Um, really happy about that. Uh, so I gave him an hour, you know, just I had never shot a bear before and wanted to make sure I gave him plenty of time, but he, uh, he, he was dead quite a while before I got to him. So uh, I couldn't be more excited. Got a buck opening day of archery season. Now it's November 7th and I've just harvested my first black bear. Okay, Mark, thank you for setting that footage in. You know, it's funny how when you're hunting whitetails and a black bear shows up, it becomes a black bear hunt. Great footage, thanks for sending it in. Hey guys, I got some work to do, I'm gonna go. All right, Jesse, thank you so much. I'll go make my oil change appointment at the service desk. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks, Jesse. Hey Keith, before you go make your appointment, why don't you introduce the next hunt? All right, guys, we got Rush Uncut member Mike LaRose. He's new for us this year, and I can't wait to see what he's got. He's got a New York turkey hunt. Let's check it out. It's a nice bird. Nice bird. Bird gobbled over here about 200 yards, ran across the cornfield, and uh, came right into the decoys. It was uh, an absolute perfect hunt this morning. All right, got my oil change all scheduled. I'm all ready for the new upcoming season. Awesome. Uh, by the way, Keith, who's picture of the week? We got Rick Becker Jr. with a unique racked buck from here in New York. And if you want to become a member, it's as easy as logging on to our website, rushoutdoors.com, clicking on the Uncut logo, and signing up. All right, everybody, we want to thank Jesse Dovey for letting us film here at Dovey Motors in Cortland, New York. And congratulations again on a 70-year family-owned business right here in Cortland. Absolutely. Thanks so much for coming and shooting here. And we love selling F-150s to all the hunters and fishermen out there. Don't forget to rush outdoors with, with a camera. camera. Rush on Cut is brought to you by Fire Tower Doubles, Dove V Motors, Upstream Construction, Dryden Lawn and Recreation, Iron Skillet Seasonings, The Hunting Buddy App, Four Seasons Archery, Woody's Maple Syrup, Prime Cuts Barbershop, The Rope Guys. O'Brien's Restaurant and Bar, IBEW 43, and IBEW 1249. Hey, there you have it. CVAs are all sighted in. And just so you know, just recently, we had a pretty big windstorm here in Western New York. John's got a tree down in the side yard. So we got the steel saws. We're gonna make some work of it. Hey, speaking of steel, why don't you guys stop down to running his great New York Sports and Expo the last weekend in January. Come down to the steel booth and check out their new line of products. From everyone at Rush Outdoors, I'm your host, Tim Andrus. We'll see you in the woods. For live updates, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. Thank you very much. I'll go make my service appointment at the service desk. You're talking to me? Okay. <laughs>